So I want to do a comparison between hawks and falcons because sometimes these guys can be really hard to tell apart. Um, so I have a few field uh, tips to hopefully help you guys um, tell them apart when you see them in the wild. So first of all, this is Phoenix. Um, this is one of our Harris hawks. Harris hawks live in the desert southwest, Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, and into Central and South America. And the Sahara here is a Barbary falcon. Barbary falcons live on Barbary Coast, Africa, uh, and the Canary Islands. But I picked these two species because this is a perfect appearance for a hawk and a perfect appearance for a falcon. So a really, really easy way to tell these birds apart. So the first thing I usually look at is the wings. If you can see the birds flying, hawks have big broad wings and a rounded tail for soaring or gliding. And the falcons, we're not gonna have her put her wings out. It's a little breezy here, but falcons tend to have pointed wings and a long tail um, for stooping or diving very quickly through the air. Hawks will have a long skinny beak, short wide toes. They tend to kill prey on the ground with their feet. Falcons are opposite. Short wide beak, long skinny toes tend to kill prey in the air, grab their prey in the air, and they'll kill with their beak. Hawks have a really serious look to them. They have a very heavy superorbital ridge, it's a fancy name for eyebrow. So you might notice that Phoenix here looks like she's concentrating really hard, where Sahara, our Barbary falcon, looks very surprised. She has really big, dark eyes and has a dark stripe under her eyes called the malar stripe. A mustache mark makes them look like they've got a mustache. So most falcons will have either a stripe or a black patch or a dark patch um, under their eyes to help keep the sun out of their eyes when they are hunting. So those are some easy, easy ways to tell. If you get a little closer and, and look, our hawks tend to just have one little bump on their upper mandible, the upper part of their beak there, or falcons have what's called a tumeal tooth, so little notches, um, a notch on either side that hangs down, helps them to separate the vertebrae in another bird's neck. And falcons also have very, very defined baffles that stick out of their nostrils. You can see the hawk has them too, but much further up. Uh, and the baffles there uh, will help them to breathe easier while they're stooping or flying very quickly um, through the air. So hopefully that helps you guys a little bit. Um, easy way to think about if you see the face, hawk hat, falcon, baseball player. Hope that helps you guys. Thank you so much.